Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Grace and today we are watching episodes 9 and 10 of the Netflix series One Day. Last time, who? Last time was rough. Emma and Dex met up and got together for a cute little fun catch-up dinner that Dex planned at a restaurant that had the best things in London, the best bathrooms in London, the best cocktails or martinis in London, the famous cigarette girls. And it was not the vibe. Dex kept going into the bathroom to do lines of coke and left Emma like in the middle of her sentences and it was just, it was not the vibe. It was kind of a disaster and at the end of the night Dex and Emma um, did not have a cute fun catch up. They um, kind of like railed into each other and ended their friendship basically. It was, it was rough. It was a really bad fight and it, it was hard to watch because I love them both so much and I just, I just want them to be happy and good and together. And then in episode 8 we didn't see Dex at all, we only saw Emma. Dex was going through it in the last, uh, a few episodes ago and then Emma was going through it in the last episode. She Oh girl, she's she she was kind of messy. She was kind of messy. She and Ian broke up. Uh, Ian proposed to her, and I guess she broke up with him. She said no, and then they broke up, and it was all messy. Um, she was having an affair with her boss. Not cute. And then she started like gaslighting Ian, saying like, "No, I wasn't seeing anybody." And Ian was like, "No, it wasn't your headmaster. It was Dex." And it was it was again messy bad, not fun to watch, not fun to experience. It was a stressful couple of episodes. Now, that being said, I don't think that it's going to get less stressful. I feel like because we didn't focus on Dex at all in episode 8, we might only focus on Dex in episode 9, and then maybe we'll get more of them in episode 10 of like more of both of them. I feel like I would be interested to see 1995 from Dex's perspective, which is like the year after they had that big falling out, but I don't know if we'll do that. Maybe it'll just be 96, maybe it'll be 95 again, I don't know. Um, we're gonna find out though, because we are going to get right into it and we are going to start with episode 9 of One Day. It's game oh, okay, this is Dex's new show, right? Gameplay is fast and there will be all kinds of surprises. He doesn't sound as like, I excited and like on as he did in previous episodes. I feel like he doesn't know what he's talking about. <sighs> oh, here we are, 96. The Cotswolds. This looks fancy. I've heard of the Cotswolds before, but I don't know what it is. I'm assuming a fancy place. So Dex is doing like video game commentary now, which like this must be like the new thing at the time, right? I still was not alive in 1996. <laughs> But like, the like arcade game Mortal Kombat kind of stuff, like... <laughs> so Where are we with? Well, it came free with last week's Sunday Times. Anyway, I thought we might... I know her. What's she from? Okay, so he's dating a fancy girl. I've got a series of topics prepared. Such as? Greek mythology. <laughs> what? He's Oh, well, what is he interested in then? Me. If I'm happy, he's happy. Well, there you go. Dex is meeting the parents. Okay, this is serious then. I feel like this is probably like the first proper relationship. Oh, I hope this goes well. I'm going all in for fencing. Don't suck up. Of course I won't. And don't be a boiled sweet either. And don't be nervous. Oh, I want Dex to be happy. Mm. Why wouldn't they adore you? Come on. Dex has had a rough go of it. I want him to be happy. No, no, thank you. You prefer a white? I don't know. Not a rosé. <laughs> Is he sober? This is a 1990 Cheval Blanc. Have you any idea what kind of a wine that is, man? Well, it was delicious the last time I had it, but it's, um, it's not the 81. <laughs> we got you there, Daddy. Ooh, okay. A wine connoisseur who doesn't touch the stuff. What's the use in that? Well, I just think that people can be more interesting without drink. Same goes for you, Daddy. This is... 
I I don't like this. This is. I thought I turned it off. Oh, oh, darling, you should take it. It's Dexter's agent. He's been waiting for this call all day. Although I thought it was only doctors and people who saved lives who were on call. Yikes. The dad looks familiar, too. Dexie, I was uh, all set to leave you a message. I had lunch with the Game On producers today. They are keen to keep working. Hey, good. Good news. Yeah, they just, they just don't think it's going to work to bring you back for series two. Hmm. You were gonna leave this in a message, dude? I thought today was just about working out my deal. Was this house in Pride and Prejudice? I feel like, I feel like this is, I feel like this is Pride and Prejudice house, right? Yes, no, I don't know. I think people are gonna soon see what I can see, which is actually that Dexter Mayhew is growing up. Yeah. It's easy to find a new direction for you. you Become know. like the Ryan Seacrest of your time before Ryan Seacrest. People love you, Dexie, but they love you in an ironic, tongue-in-cheek love to hate kind of way you don't want to hear that oh that's not a fun call to get it would have been worse to hear that in a voicemail though congratulations dexter secundo series <laughs> thank you yes no i um what's he from too oh i know both of them from something fatty isn't it tv fatty one minute you're in Next minute, you're not. This is not going well. <laughs> I don't know, I think they think I'm a bit of a loser or something. Mm. Does it matter what my family think of you? I mean, I would hope so. If you like your family, then yeah. What your family thinks of me? A little. Well then, yeah, it does matter. And then it matters to me too. Yeah. I can't imagine someone going to meet someone, your partner's family for the first time and being like, it doesn't matter if they like me. I was just admiring your cabinet of trophies in the hall. Oh, well, that's the problem with having such a competitive family. You end up with a lot of cheap, ugly metal. <laughs> <laughs> was that not a joke? It sounded like a joke. Truncheon. Tubeline pill. Oh my god, he's Poseidon. That's, it's Toby Stevens. That's who, it's Poseidon. Why is he so much hotter as a Greek god? It's Poseidon from the Percy Jackson series. And she's from Angus Long's and Perfect Snogging. Okay, I, I, they both came to me at the same time. That, oh wow. This is awful, I hate this. Are you there, Moriarty? Yeah. Oh, oh, what are you, this is, what is this game? I don't like this. Are you there, Moriarty? Yeah. Oh, Ow! Goodness, that one had power. This is just this is just an excuse for them to beat the shit out of him. Are you there, Moriarty? Punch him! I don't like. Yeah. Oh, Ow! <laughs> what kind of family game night do these people have? Jesus! This is kind of fucked up. I don't like this. Come on. Have another go. No, no, no. Take no, no, me on. No, that would, that would just. It's feel... just a rolled up copy of the time. And you're gonna hit your girlfriend with it? Blo no, I don't like this. Okay. You I don't like it. this. I don't like this. Mm mm. Are, are you are you sure about this? I'm a I'm a pretty good tennis player. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Well, we shall see. I don't like this. You ready? Oh yes. You sure? He doesn't want to do this. I don't. I don't want him to do this. I don't want. Ladies and gentlemen, it's game on. <laughs> you didn't even ask if she was there, Moriarty. What the fuck kind of a game is this? I. I hate this. I hate this. Why did you swing that hard, Dex? You forgive me. I forgive you. <sighs> Sorry for fucking up. Don't be ridiculous. You were doing fine until you hit me. Uh, they liked you. Did they? Did they? <laughs> this relationship is not lasting until next episode. No. Don't. Stop it. <laughs> oh, this is making me so... He's think. Why are you thinking about... He's thinking about Emma on that first night. 
you know, when something happens and it's, it's just awful at the time. <laughs> but, you know, one day it'll make a funny anecdote. I don't think, I don't think this is gonna make a funny story ever. I was just imagining describing the day to my friend who I know would find it funny. What friend? You're still calling her your friend? It's called Emma. You haven't met her. An old friend. I haven't seen for years. <laughs> this is gonna make me cry. Cause they still love each other. Besides that. Not a, not a great day. Are you sure? I like your family. I don't. So are you. I love you. <gasps> That's the first time you said that to someone, isn't it? <laughs> oh. I want him to be happy. So I was right, we didn't see Emma this episode. So I wonder if we're gonna see both of them again. God, that was rough. I did not like this ep- I- oh, I really did not like this episode. This was stressful and... Yee. I didn't like it. Not a fan. I do love that, like, we saw in episode 8, where it was just Emma, that she was thinking about Dex, because she was like, oh, I just lost a bet when she got her phone, right? And now in this one, we have Dex thinking about Emma and thinking about that first night that they, the night that they met, and uh, there's still so much love there. So I know they can come back together. You know, sometimes you have to be apart from someone in order to come back together, you know? And that sucks, but I want it to happen. All right, we're gonna find out what happens next. Thank God this is not the last episode I'm watching right now. <laughs> I need another one. I need to know if they're gonna be together, like in the same place. Also, we'll see if Sylvia's around in the next episode, because I was very convinced for a moment there that they would not be. <laughs> but who knows? I don't know, he said I love you, which I don't think he said to anyone yet. Because like in the, in, what was it, episode seven? Even when he was like dating Suki, when Suki said, like was on the phone with him, she said love you and he didn't say anything back. So, I don't know. I think maybe this is the first person he's loved since Emma. I think he did love Emma. And I think Emma loved him, but it just wasn't, the timing just wasn't right, you know? We're gonna see what happens in the next episode. We're gonna get right into it and we are going to start one day, episode 10. Again? We had Vivaldi in the last one. Ooh, a wedding? Tilly's wedding? Another week, another wedding from the people you slept with. No, he's looking for Emma. Hi, babies! Look at them! I miss them! So have you given up teaching? Oh, God, I'd love to give up teaching. I've not given it up. I'm just not doing it right now. I've got a tiny advance, so taking a sabbatical at the moment, yeah. Bloody fantastic. Well, you look great on it. People keep saying that. Did I look terrible before? <laughs> well, you all used to knock around together in London until your man here went quiet on me. Did I? Yeah. Well, you, you know, you could have, could have phoned me too. I did, Agent. You never returned my call. <laughs> Didn't I? Yeah, he was kind of going through it at the time. Did you see that Emma Morley show? Uh, yeah. I heard you two fell out. We did. Oh, but you're all right now. Um, Don't know! <laughs> did you two ever, uh... Nearly once or twice. Nearly? What does that mean? It means they didn't, but they wanted to. All right, Dex, just go talk to Emma. I just need, I just need them to, I need them to talk. Sandwiches. That's the future. High quality, ethically minded convenience food. That's where it's at, my friend. Food is the new rock and roll. I think there could be a lot of opportunities for you. Callie, are you, are you offering me a job? Okay. Who knows? Thanks. Excuse me. Do I know you from somewhere? <laughs> I don't think so. No, nope, never met before. I didn't have Tilly pegged as a traditional wedding person. Yeah, I'm not sure coming down the aisle to a club anthem can be. <laughs> Go Master Graham. Graham. I said, how's Graham? Yeah, I can't believe he lasted the course. 
I need them to hug. Give me something. It's one of the great cosmic mysteries. How it is that someone can go from being a total stranger to being the most important person in your life? Oh, no, Graham, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> first term of first year, four in the morning, and I'm woken by some frantic banging on the door. I get up, afraid, open it, and on the other side is a girl telling me quite unapologetically that she's dying for some sweet corn and could she borrow a tin opener? Oh, I love a good speech at a wedding. There are too many bad speeches at weddings. Apart from this one bit uh, from Great Expectations, which says, imagine one selected day struck out of your life and think how different its course would have been. Stop. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> of the long chain of iron or gold, of thorns or flowers that would never have bound you. That's literally this whole show. <laughs> I am so glad that that apparently inauspicious night in Wandsworth turned out to be the first link in your golden chain with Tilly. Because you've made an already cheerful person happier than you could ever imagine. Why am I crying? <laughs> Any chance I could have my tin opener back now, please? <laughs> To Tilly and Graham. Oh, that was such a good speech. I've heard too many bad speeches at weddings. That's a great wedding speech. Great speech. Thanks. Who can we go somewhere? Just me and you? Yeah, please. I need them to talk. So, how are you these days? Yeah. Different. That's I'm good. more sensible than the last time you saw me. The last time I saw each other was rough. Just had to get something out of my system is all. Then is it out? I hope so. You know, if you're 22 and fucking up, you can say it's okay. I'm only 22. I'm only 25. I'm only 28. But 32. Yeah, after a certain point it gets to not be great. Screwed up with my mum. No, you didn't. Screwed up my friendships. Life's hard sometimes. You just gotta learn from it and grow. But then I met Sylvie. Yeah. God, it's just such a shame she's so unattractive. <laughs> also, true love found you in the end. Something like that. This feels so bittersweet. I can actually go about saying we're right now. Only downside is that everyone thinks you're good for a wedding speech. I mean, for today, I wrote my own, Graham's, and the best man. <laughs> well, then they all were going to be good. Best not to ask for that. Are you proposing? So maybe you can read what I write. Is he proposing? Is he? Are they engaged? I'm engaged. <gasps> No, we. I want him to be happy, but that makes me sad. That's amazing. Because <laughs> I want them to be together. Oh. <gasps> so you, you, you pleased? Pleased? I'm destroyed. Me too. But not in a good way. Well, I wanted to tell you in person. Mm. And give you an invitation. Mr. and Mrs. Lionel Cope invite you to the marriage of their daughter, Sylvie Abigail Elizabeth Penelope. So many names. To play an old Dexter Mayhew. But I can't believe I'm actually seeing this in print. Yeah. Oh, it's so bittersweet. It's the 13th September. That's in like seven weeks. It's not too long. It's what they call a shotgun wedding. Don't tell me she's pregnant. Oh my god, he's gonna be a dad, and oh my god. God, you're gonna be a dad. <sighs> this is too much information for me to take in right now. Space the bombshells out. Hang on, Seriously? You're married, and you're having a baby. Dex, you're having a baby. I know. I mean, is that allowed? Or they even <laughs> let you? This is making me so sad for everything that could have been for them. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm trying not to. And you think it's a good thing? Yes, of course it is. Oh, man, I turned my back for one minute and... 
one minute. I mean, it's been how many years? I feel like he was searching for an out when he was asking Emma if she thought it was a good thing. I've missed you. Yeah. I've, I've missed you too. No, but I've missed you so, so much. I missed them too. There have been so many things that I wanted to talk to you about, but you weren't there. <laughs> I really regretted just walking off like that. I didn't blame you. I was... Awful. Yeah. Yeah, you were. You know, I could have stuck it out. Because it was your mum. It's losing your mum. <laughs> the show! <laughs> I've drunk too much. Your bad influence as usual. <laughs> yeah. I love them. <laughs> it's fine. We're fine. Every single day that I didn't see you, I thought about you. <laughs> I wish Dex could see this, or Dex would find this one, eh? Oh, what a wanker. <laughs> and then seeing today, I thought maybe I'd got you back. Oh, <gasps> but he's... With Sylvie. My best friend. Oh. The wedding and the baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not okay. I am so happy for you, Dex. I really am, but... But I kind of feel like I've lost you all over again. Well, they can have one of those babies that pretty much takes care of themselves. <laughs> Leave them in a room, apparently. It's a little gas stove and some bottled water. God, I so desperately want them to be back. It won't be like that. Oh, it's so easy to say that now before all of it happens. I, God, I want them back together so badly. I'm not okay right now. I'm just letting it all happen. I was not expecting to cry in these episodes. But here we are, crying over fake people again. No, no. Don't tell me this is happening now. <gasps> you can't do this to me. <laughs> You can't do this right now. <laughs> I am unwell. What time is it? <sighs> it's, uh, it's nearly midnight. You should go, we're nearly there. Um, yeah, thanks. Friends again? Please. Yeah. Friends. Now let's go. <sighs> yeah, after they just kissed a little bit in the maze. Okay, I had to take a second and <laughs> fix myself because. I was not expecting that to hit me so hard. It's just, it's just so bittersweet. Like, I was ho I was so hoping that this was gonna be like a moment that they could come back together, and like, I don't know, I don't know. Like, yes, they came back together, and yes, they're like, yeah, we're friends again. But, but it will be different. It'll be so different. Because they've had these years apart from each other where they've, you know, their lives are so different now than when they were last together. And all of this happening with Dex, it's just like, I think it was like the death of the possibilities. Which, like, obviously it's not a total, like, death of the possibilities, but, like, now there's always going to be someone else involved, right? There's always going to be Sylvia, there's always going to be this baby involved, and... It's not going to be Dex and Emma the way that it was in the beginning. And I think, oh god, I don't know why that hit me. Like, ugh, I need to stop talking because I'm going to cry again. I think it's hitting me like that because it's like, we've been rooting for this for from like the very first moment that they saw each other. Like, we've been rooting for, I've, I've been rooting for them to get together. Like, through everything, through every other person that's come into their lives, it's always been just Dex and Emma. They always come back to each other. And it's always just almost. It's always right there, like, on the edge, on the verge. And, and everything with his mom and all of the years after that where shit was just so hard and messy. And, like, she was there. And then it got to be too much and they were both away, like away from each other. It just, it just, it's so bittersweet. It hurts. This was a lot. I was not expecting these episodes to get me like that. Everything feels so much more intentional now. 
you know, that they're coming back together this time around. They're in their 30s now. They're not in their 20s. They're in their 30s. So I feel like everything is going to be so much more intentional. I feel like everything is going to have a bit more weight to it. Because, like, even when Dex was saying, like, oh, you know, you're only 22, you're only 25, like, I feel like you can, in your own mind, like, excuse certain behaviors or excuse and justify, like, the things that you're doing and be like, oh, well, I'm, I'm young, I'm in my 20s, you know, your 20s is for figuring everything out. And, like, first of all, your whole life is about figuring things out. But I feel like especially now that he's getting married and having a child like it, it's just everything has to be so much more intentional for him and Emma is you know she's got her book she's writing her book and I'm so excited for her and she's not involved in teaching anymore so hopefully she there's nothing with the headmaster which is good she needed to get out of that I just feel like I feel like the worst is yet to come in terms of this show destroying me. I wasn't expecting this in this episode. I didn't expect to get so emotional at that, but I did. I don't know. Oh, well, we'll just have to see what happens the next time. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching these two episodes of One Day With Me. I had a good time. I hope you guys had a good time. Despite my crying, I still had a good time. I will leave our previous One Day reactions in the description below, as well as some of our more recent uploads and all of my social medias if you want to follow me outside of here. Make sure to like and subscribe. We are coming up on the last few episodes of One Day. They're going to be coming out very soon. I'm, I'm nervous to finish this show. I don't... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to do to me, and I'm very nervous for it. So... Make sure you stick around. If you like watching me cry, I'm sure it'll happen more in the next couple episodes. Because I'm expecting this show to, to ruin my life. I hope you are all having a wonderful day wherever you are. And I will see you all very soon for more One Day. Bye!